So now we will go to the inventory statistics and we will add some labels. So let's drag six labels. So here is the first one. Let's just ensure the position and we go to text to write. So this is the number of reference just like this uh, we can resize a little bit okay put it a little bit in the center just copy it control and copy and the second one is number of parts type so this is the number of part type. So this is the number of part family, and the top one is the number of reference of unique reference. So let's copy, control and drag. Sorry, just control and drag by the mouse to copy, and we put here. So this is the minimum number of all. Let's write minimum number of holes and the second one we write the maximum number of holes number of holes okay can hit okay just add s that's good another another copy so the second label will hold the variable so this lab this label will be changed according to our uh, python program so for the moment we put, we put just zero and we can go to change the style change the style we can choose the font so it's entry gothic this is my best and make the size bigger and then click OK and apply. Go to a new line and add color. Mm, let's choose this one or maybe this little purple and click OK. Then apply. So we can make it even bigger, just like this, or maybe maybe more okay apply looks good now we can just copy four times second one this is for maximum number of holes and for minimum number of holes and to drop the reference we will add two additional to display which reference have the minimum number of holes and which reference have the maximum number of holes we will just write ref just to remember just to remember that this is for reference okay what's next now we'll drag table widget put it like here and make it make it wider okay then we can edit the elements and we will add three columns so the first one will be okay let's say the reference and the second one is the part name and finally the count so this table will display the top three reference with minimum count level let's change the style and make the text a little bit lower lower size okay now looks good mm -hmm. I click ok and we will need a label to indicate the reason of this table and we will write that this is to display the top three reference with minimum count level so top three reference with minimum inventory level and just like this it's now now it's clear and now we can add a push button to the left side of this table and this is the check button that I show you in the first video. So if clicked, so this button will 
show the top three reference so right check these labels we can make a little bit wider so this is to display the reference the first reference and this is for the second reference just like this click save so it looks okay now we can just start to give names for our comments so remember that names are used for the program so we have to remember so this is lbl or label ref number just like this and the second one is label parts number okay the third one is should be minimum number holes or label minimum holes and this is maximum label maximum holes and for reference we can just copy this and put uh, like uh, lbl max number max hole 2 and first one we copy and we passed minimum holes to okay this we can give table 2 because the first table in the first tab was named table so this we can name table 2 and we know that we have only two tables in our app so it's easy to remember and this is in the same uh, we can put check button and the refresh button we already put the name so click save the third one is edit inventory so here we will add okay some text box or maybe better to to add uh, okay some label first so here, here we will display uh, the nine uh, fields of our database so this is in order to navigate each row separately so just copy this four times and after this we just copy again make it in the center mm -hmm. and copy that's good and now we just start writing so this is should be a reference like the first column of our table the second one is part name so part with normal a part name and the third one is minimum area okay and this is the maximum area and this is the this one should be the number of holes so this, these are just labels and in front of each one we will put a edit edit line just a small text box to display the variable so this is minimum diameter and this one is maximum diameter and finally count this is the inventory level okay and on the top we will put we will display the id id of the row so this this will be uh, not changed now let's drag edit align edit let's put this style the line edit is a text box which allow only one line so this is what we need in our case so just let's write text to display just to display the style and to be sure that we selected the good style and after this we can just copy uh, seven times fourth one and we select everything and we copy control and drag looks good mm -hmm now let's make this smaller and more in the center uh, this is I just copy it and I will change the background of this one because I will display the ID in a label box and not in a text box 
so I will change the background to make it visible and delete it empty okay now let's just erase this text and let it empty okay minimum diameter maximum diameter and count okay now everything looks good what's next uh, now maybe we can remove this and we replace it by a spin box it's better it will be good because this is the count we can just click and increase the number or decrease the number if you can see I just applied the same the same style as the edit line and now we can start just making the, the names or putting the names so this is reference remember this is uh, only small characters okay this is part name with underscore this is minimum area with small characters and with underscore this is the maximum area number of holes the minimum diameter so you have to remember these names very well because we will, we will use them in the program and don't worry if you don't remember everything it's not needed uh, to remember all because we can just keep open the designer and uh, if you want to go to a control we can just go and check the name so now let's add some navigation buttons so this will be four navigation buttons to go to the next row to the previous row and to the last or the first row let's put this to mean that this is the last row change the style so if you have icon it will be better but for my case and to go to to go fast i will just uh, make uh, some characters okay color some kind of uh, purple okay apply and now we'll just copy just like this and only one character and we copy again control and the drag and this is the opposite character to mean uh, previous so let's change the Let's check the text and put the opposite character and here two characters okay now looks good and finally we'll add the buttons to update the database or to add a new row or to delete complete row so this is the first one this is update button okay we'll just control and drag to copy and two times Okay, and we call this one delete. So, okay, so this will delete button. And this is add to add a new row. Okay, now we'll give names. So this is simply update underscore button. And this is delete underscore button. And the last one, you guess, it's add underscore button okay let's give names to the navigation buttons also so this is last underscore button and this we give next underscore button and you guess this one this is previous underscore button so okay with s and this one is first underscore button just perfect let's save okay and uh, we can even change the style and make it the color make it a little bit darker 150 no let's make it smaller maybe 100 looks darker again this one so these are the RGB colors. This is the red, 
green green and blue we can access each one separately and change so this is okay we just copy and paste so you are free, you are free to change the style as you want so this is the editor of the style this is a type of css css editor and using this you can make some great styles we save so now we finish this tab this inventory tab maybe we can change the the font this one okay add so my favorite is century gothic and 11 preview check okay that's good that's good this one we can change to the blue style and the same for all the other labels Okay, so this one will make it a little bit blue, some kind of dark blue. I will just delete this line and add a new line. And we choose some type of dark blue, like this. Mm, okay, looks not bad. Can even make it better. Okay. Uh, this is control R to uh, visualize okay so these are our text box this is our spin box it's working fine these are the navigation buttons so you can just write to check if the style is good looks good that's that looks fine so almost done maybe we forgot to give a name to this one this is small this id with small characters let's check if we didn't forgot to give object name because this is very important this we have this is good this one this one are good and of course refresh and it's done so finished